This is so cool. Guys, this is the first time I'm filming in my location a like formal sit down video on my new camera. I hope the footage looks amazing and I hope all my settings are all right and that my hair doesn't look insane. Tired of accidentally having my videos be out of focus. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle if you're new here and if you're not, then welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I always start with that and I never know where I'm going with that sentence. So today I'm filming a video I've been super, super excited to do that I've been waiting for. Anyways, today I'm doing an unboxing haul and I'll give you like my first impressions reviews instead of doing a full review because then this video is gonna be super long um, of a wax vendor that is new to me. The only other wax vendor stuff I have is from Blended With Love and I did a whole video on that and I did mini reviews and a haul of that. So if you want to check out that, if you're into vendor wax, I also recently did a Walmart wax haul, but vendor wax is so popular and everyone's been getting super into it and I watched so many hauls today and this isn't one I've really heard of as much so I think it's really cool that I get to kind of maybe introduce you guys to a smaller vendor. So it came in a priority mailbox. The shipping was super quick. This is from the brand Vintage Road Candles or VRC Wax. I feel like I've seen that abbreviation. So Sarah, the owner, was nice enough to reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to try out some of her products for a video and I was like, Yes! Oh, I can't wait. I ordered a lot of bakery-ish scents and just so many things sounded so good. Vendors always come up with the most amazing scent combinations and really like delicious sounding, like sweet, desserty scents. So she let me pick out a few things and here it is. So I'm gonna unbox it with you guys. I'm super excited. Hi guys, so before I start the official unboxing, Sarah just wanted to let me know that since this was sent out a couple months ago, she has a lot of different items in inventory and her wax recipe has changed. So if there's anything you see here that you're interested in, I will link everything that I got that is still available in the description box below, so make sure you check. So I just had to open this with my keys and a Yankee wick trimmer because my kitchen's in the middle of getting redone. So my stuff is all packed up and I could not find my scissors to save the life of me. But I just opened it and it smells delicious. Kind of has like a strange, it kind of smells a little bit like, like fabric softener or dryer sheets. But here's what it looks like on the top. There's just this pink tissue paper and she has this cute sticker it says thank you for your order with us. Vintage road candles. Look, I can actually show you things close up now. So I'm super excited to see what's in here. So here's just a little card about like basics. Oh, she wrote me a note. Elle, thank you so much for sampling and reviewing. That was so cute. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. She sent me a business card and another one. Look how adorable all the shapes she has are. This one in the middle is called like her bunties. I think I got some of those. I know I got like a sampler pack. I've tried to pick a variety of items. She said, I tried to match up your preferences as much as possible with the RTS items I had on hand. Enjoy. I'm so not used to vendor stuff. Um, I picked stuff on her website, but maybe by the time she shipped it out, things weren't in stock because not all wax companies like keep things constantly in stock. Sometimes they do like restocks. I don't know. Probably a lot of you know this if you're into wax. So here is the list of what I asked for. So let's see. There's some packing peanuts in here and I'm, I'm just super excited. I've been watching like wax vendor hauls all day and I love how they package everything. Oh, I was just saw these on her website. This is really cute. It's one of her little dog shaped melts. I forget what these are called, like puddle pups, I think. Um, so this is lavender cotton candy. And I love that she puts the pour date on the front. This is from May 3rd. So they should be good. I've had this box and I've been waiting to film for a while. So I think you usually only cure for like a month. Um, but she also has the scent descriptions on the sticker on the front, which is awesome. And they are these Ziploc bags. I love that because if they don't close, I get really annoyed with this type of bag. Uh, this one is French Lavender and Honey, Bath and Body Works type cotton candy. French Lavender and Honey. I'm still confused as to what the word type means. I think that means it's like mimicking a Bath and Body Works scent. But Bath and Body Works doesn't have cotton candy, so maybe it's mimicking the French Lavender. Anyways, <laughs> being a geek. Look how cute. It's a little puppy little pug or wrinkly dog. Is this focusing at all? Oh, he got a little melty. It's really hot in here right now. So I hope like my filming lights aren't messing it up, but it's just a pretty light purple color. 
This smells really nice. This might be kind of the laundry scent I was smelling, but you definitely have the sugary candy, cotton candy scent. Ooh, that's a really good balance. It's not overly lavender. Love it. So the one I had ordered with the, was the lavender cotton candy Shotzi. I'm not sure like what the formats are, but so that's must be what she had instead. All right, so my battery died, so I had to completely take my camera off the tripod. So I hope I have not moved around too much. However, while I was waiting, I did look it up and the dog ones are two ounces and the turtle tarts are one ounce. This one's so cute. I think I was talking about this one, another lavender cotton candy. So cute, this little turtle dude. These remind me of like those cute little shaped soaps you would get at gift shops. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to melt these. They're so cute. They're hard to photograph, but they're very Instagrammable. <laughs> Next I got, ooh, Fruity Chew. I think this is one of the little bunties, has some glitter on it, really pretty minty color. Strawberry, kiwi, pearberry, and bubble gum. Ooh. So like a fruity gum. In a lot of hauls, people will take them actually out of the package to smell them. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, you really get the bubble gum note, but also fruit. This reminds me of a cereal. This kind of reminds me of Kick cereal. Oh my God, that's amazing. I love it. That's so good. I wish I had more than just the one. This might be a little sampler I got as I wanted to get the bakery sampler pack. Um, so I don't know. And this is banana nut bread, which is just banana nut bread scent. And these are slightly different shapes, right? Are they the same? The yellow one looks bigger because it's more on the back. So that's exciting. Love banana scents and playing around with those. This one is a pretty pink color. <gasps> pink sugar marshmallow. Pink sugar type and marshmallow. This one was poured in April, so I could probably use this a lot sooner than the other ones. Oh, I just haven't been sticking my nose in them. Oh, I'm so not used to doing wax hauls. This smells really good. There's kind of a general, like whatever that laundry scent is that I'm getting is like on the outside of everything. But it smells really good. It smells kind of light, like a nice pinky sugary smell. I always love that sort of smell. Ooh, apple, pumpkin, pecan, zucchini. See, she had zucchini bread as a lot of her notes, which was interesting. So this one's appleberry, zucchini bread, and pumpkin pecan waffles, Ugh, which I love. So it'll probably be strong because that's a strong candle. Oh yeah, that one's very fall, but could almost be summery. No, it's pretty folly. It has like the pecan, the apple. Ooh, that's very different though. It's just not straight up pumpkin pecan waffles or apple. You definitely do get a little bit of a berry note. Yum, these are so creative. I'm so excited. This one's Amish friendship dough bread and the notes are Amish friendship bread and zucchini bread. So I don't really know what Amish friendship bread smells like at all. She had a lot of that kind of scent. So I was very excited to try these. Yeah, I think these are the, the bunties shape. I'm not sure. Wax, cousin, wax comes in so many different forms and shapes and sizes. I get so confused. Ooh, there's definitely like a cinnamony note. It's very sweet. I thought maybe it would not be because I'm not sure what this bread's note was. It almost has a pumpkin pecan waffle sort of note to it, or maybe it's because they're just right next to each other. This one's a really pretty purple color. Fruity Loops, Fruit Loops and Fruity Pebbles. Yes, yeah, so this one was poured in March, so I really don't have to let it cure, which is good. So I don't, I don't want to wait. <laughs> These sounded really good. This definitely has a lemony note from like the Fruit Loops, but it's candy-ish. No, I'm not a big lemon person, but it smells really nice. Generally, kind of fruity smell there, as you would guess. This is so fun. Lavender and honey cake. Oh, this sounds so good. French lavender and honey Bath and Body Works type and birthday cake. I love those cakey scents. This is a pretty lavender color, but different than the lavender cotton candy. I guess it's more of a violet, like a bluey <laughs> lavender. I don't know. Oh my God, that one might be my favorite so far. Oh, you can definitely smell the birthday cake. There's definitely honey in there. Not heavy on lavender, which is okay. Cause I feel like I have a lot of lavender. Oh my God, that smells so good. Oh my God. <laughs> Ooh, oh wow, so this is a bigger bag. You have six of these 
little bunties. I never know how much wax to put in at a time when it's different shapes like this. So probably just like one of these, right? It's kind of equivalent to like a Yankee tart or something. Let me know in the comments, especially if you've tried this brand. This is Island Fresh Gain. Island Fresh Gain type. This must be the laundry scent because there's so much more of it. Yep, that's definitely the laundry scent. It smells a lot like, uh, definitely like a Tide detergent or something that I used to have. Ooh, that's really strong. Ooh, you almost need to like cut these in half and try them. So that would be fun on laundry day. Not really the sort of scent I would get in a bigger pack though. I would rather have gotten some like more of the Fruity Loops instead of like a laundry scent. I don't think this was on my original list. I wonder what this was substituting. But it'll be interesting to try out. Very strong though, if it's anything like it is on cold. Oh, this is cute. This is a little chunky yeah i ordered this on the sweet 16 chunkies oh this one says a free sample oh thank you uh so this is sweet 16 strawberry bubblegum yum cotton candy slash pink sugar sweet lavender and sugar cookie slash birthday cake and it's all these pretty little colors this reminds me of like soaps when you get homemade soaps at like gift shops and you like cut off a chunk this sounds heavenly oh my gosh yes you definitely get the strawberry yeah, it's like a fruity, sweet, cakey smell. Now all I can smell is the game, but this smells so freaking good. Oh, another Sweet 16 Chunky. Good, because that one smells amazing. I don't know if you put like half of this in your warmer at a time. It looks pretty big. I'm not sure. I just don't know. Oh, I got a bunch of cute little shots. These are so cute. I always see people have these in vendor wax videos. I don't know why. But I just think these cups are so cute. They remind me of like portion cups at a restaurant, but all the different colors are so sweet. So this is Milky Pistachio Cotton Candy Cake. Yum! Pistachio cake, sugar milk, and cotton candy are the notes. And I, this was one that I definitely picked up. Really pretty pistachio minty color. So I don't even know like what size or what amount of this you put in the warmer. Oh, this has some pretty glitter on it. Some nice silver glitter. Oh, that's heavenly. Not really strong in the pistachio. That pistachio Walmart wax that everyone really likes was so, so strong for me. It was like painful. Oh, this is more subdued. You can smell the cotton candy. I just love cotton candy scents. I need a cotton candy candle to just come out of Bath and Body Works already. This next one is banana caramel coconut cream pie. <gasps> She needs to open a bakery and actually make these things because it just makes me hungry. This is banana cream pie, caramel, and coconut cream pie. Oh, and it has little coconut shavings on the top. I wonder if that's wax. Probably. <laughs> you probably wouldn't put real coconut. Oh, that's nice. Definitely get like a caramel banana. It's like a banana foster. Yeah, basically that's what it is. Not picking up a ton on coconut, but I have so much coconut that is all right. Oh, this also has some gold glitter. These are so cute, and she says these are free samples on the side. This one's pink, so of course I'll love it. This is Serendipity Supreme, which is cherry, coconut, vanilla bean, toasted marshmallow, and citrus punch. Citrus with marshmallow, very interesting. This one's from February, the poor date. Mmm, I'm just smelling like a cherry almond. Not much marshmallow, but like a very candied cherry like a cherry drink or a cherry candy dessert definitely has some vanilla in there but cherries definitely the strongest no woo like a cherry almond shoe candy uh pineapple upside down cake Ooh, she i think she still has this one on her website i was just looking at it a lot of her stuff is sold out so you might have to wait for a restock you can order off her website i just liked her facebook page so i think you order yeah off the website is how a lot of vendors do it now instead of through etsy but this one is pineapple white cake Ooh, i wonder what that is cinnamon caramel swirl type and strudel and spice it has little sugar crystals on top so cute oh that's interesting i don't have many pineapple scents because pineapple can get a little obnoxious Oh, but it definitely has the cakey notes. So this time my card filled up and I don't know when I stopped recording. What was I on? The pineapple upside down cake? Yeah, so this one is a really nice pineapple. Sometimes pineapple can be a little astringent and kind of obnoxious, but you definitely have that cakey note and more of a vanilla-ness. 
It's definitely not just a straight tropical pineapple. I really don't smell much coconut, but coconut and pineapple are blended together so often that sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. There's a little sugar and glitter on the top, which is super cute. Love the packaging of these. I'm not sure how many ounces are in here, so I kind of wish it said, but I guess most people don't really care. I don't know. This next one is frosted coconut vanilla, which has peppermint, actually, coconut and vanilla. Sounds very yummy. Oh, yeah, this smells like like twisted peppermint from Bath and Body Works, which I absolutely love, but you would think frosted coconut vanilla wouldn't be like that. I'm not picking up on much coconut in this one either. It's like a pale yellow with some of the pretty coconut on the top. I really like that though. It's almost more summery. Maybe there's like the tiniest bit of coconut that makes it not super a winter scent. The strawberry banana sundae has strawberry banana cream pie and ice cream birthday cake. Yum! Has red glitter on this one. Super cute. Oh, that's nice. I love a good strawberry scent. Nope, I love that. I love that. You kind of smell all of those notes in there. That's really, really nice. I love that. It smells like a banana split or something. And then this took up half the box. She also does make candles as the name Vintage Road Candles would have you believe. So it's all nicely wrapped up. These are very elaborate and gorgeous. So I'm so happy I could try one out. They're so pretty on her website. She has all sorts of cute little chunks of wax making all sorts of decorations on the top. So cute. <gasps> Oh, this looks so adorable. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to burn it. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I smell a little bit of peppermint. This is Candyland, her candle in a jar, and there's a little bit of cling wrap. I'm not sure if things are gonna fall out, so should I take that off? I don't know, I, maybe I won't. Freaking look at that, it's so cute. It looks like Candyland. The colors are adorable. There's little like marshmallow looking things. And these almost look like peeps or some sort of fluffy candy. Oh, so this has cotton candy, peppermint, and toasted marshmallow, which sounds heavenly. And there's like all these sprinkles and candy pieces. Oh, I'm so happy we can focus close up so you can see this. This is beautiful. So this looks like it's a, t yeah, it has two wicks. I think, I don't know, I really, oh, smells so good. Again, sort of like that twisted peppermint sort of feel, but this one has a lot more marshmallow in it. I bet you the different layers are the different scents and you kind of hit them as you go down. This is so pretty. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to burn it. Obviously I, I want to. And her label's really cute on the front as well. So this is a little heavy, so I'm not sure what she charges for shipping. This is adorable, it smells so good. Oh, it's like Twisted Peppermint, but sweeter and not as crazy on the peppermint, which is good because, you know, it's all about balance. You don't want a super strong peppermint. So yeah, I got that one candle, got this big pack. This is kind of overpowering a lot of things. And then I got one, two, three, four, let's see, five, six, seven of the, the bunties, I guess. This is probably the sampler pack. You get a bunch of these. Then two of the chunkies the Sweet 16, Lavender Cotton Candy. I got one Turtle Tart and one, I think they're Puddle something, Puppy something, the dog one. So I have three ounces of this. These are so adorable. And then I have six of the shots. I think that's everything unless I put something where I can't currently see it. So again, thank you so, so much to Sarah. That was so sweet of you. Uh, go give her some love. She's on Instagram. She has a Facebook, email her place an order on our website if you want to try them out. I'm so excited to be trying everything. Uh, there's such variety, so I think I'm gonna review things as I go through them and put them in like wax and candle empty videos because I've started doing those, which I really enjoy doing. Or if you want to know how any of these specific items was, leave me a comment and then if I've tried it, I will try to get back to you there as well. I'm so, so excited to be getting into vendor wax. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, let me know what your favorite vendors and what your favorite scents are. I obviously like the cotton candy and like bakery sort of scents like that, super sweet and sugary. So let me know. I There's like a whole world that I can't wait to explore. So subscribe for more videos like this and to see those candle empties when they come out, you can even hit the bell notification button to be notified whenever I upload. I have a second channel where I post vlogs you should go subscribe to as well. We are almost at 4,000 subscribers, members in the Glam Bam fam. I'm so excited. 
we're so close at the time I'm filming this. So yes, tell your friends to subscribe. Can't wait to try all these waxes from the Vintage Road Candles. Thank you again, Sarah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so I know that you do like this kind of video. And I will see you guys in my next video. It's going to be impossible to choose what to melt first. Oh my God. And yay for our first video on the new camera. I hope you like it. Let me know down below. I hope it's focusing and that my skin doesn't look green because it kind of looks it on the viewfinder. Three, two, one, bang! <laughs>